Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to another episode of Painting Lessons. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some black and white, very simple techniques, and just how we blend and push these colors back and forth to create these nice jellyfish. So don't forget to check out the description box below for a list of colors and materials that I'm using. It's really not a whole lot, just some water, your paintbrush, I recommend something like a number four flat brush, and your black and white paint. Okay, so now let's get started now. I'm gonna go with my two inch flat brush here, putting a little bit of water on the canvas to make the paint flow a little bit better. And with some titanium white and permanent black, I'm gonna make this gray tone like so. And what I wanna do is create this gradient where it transitions into a lighter gray as it comes down to the bottom. So I'm gonna add some more white as I come down like so. And I just wanna lightly touch the canvas and blend it up into this other color as I come up to the top of it. And now just titanium white. And with that, I'm just gonna take that up and lightly brush that into the color above. And now I have this nice gradient that I'm looking for. And so with that, now I'm gonna dry that off with the hair dryer at medium heat. And on top of that, I can go ahead and pencil in the tops of the jellyfish like so. So if you're following along, and I hope you are, then go ahead and pause and draw out something similar and you can put these in any array that you'd like to. And again, this is really just about color value, not about drawing so much. So with my number four flat brush, I'm just taking some permanent black now and I'm gonna start filling in the darkest areas of these jellyfish tops. Okay, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna take these and put in these little indication lines and I'm gonna use those to draw some of the shape of the jellyfish and this helps to create some of the round shape and dimension of it. And I'll go ahead and apply that up top as well. And with a little bit of that paint left on my brush, I'm just gonna lightly touch over and just sort of do this soft blending, dry brushing type thing where I can just sort of make this look sort of blended and gives it that smooth look. Okay, without cleaning my brush now, I'm just picking up titanium white and I did wipe some of that other color off my brush, but I did not clean it yet. And while the other paint is still a little bit wet, it's gonna make it easier to blend this white into it a little bit. And so with this, I'm just gonna start creating some of these highlights. And now again, titanium white right here. And I will vary this color back and forth, but for now I'm gonna just lightly dust that on as I get out onto the edges like so. I'm barely touching the canvas. And that's gonna help really blend that in like so. And I'm gonna start bringing that down now and creating some highlights here as well on this one. Okay, now I'm just getting some of that permanent black and some of that white together to make this light gray. And I'm just gonna lightly dust over some of that white that I put down. And so when I load my brush, I don't wanna put a lot of paint on there at once because I wanna be able to dry brush this and just have just a barely any paint because that makes doing this blending just a lot easier. And you can always add more paint, but if you put too much paint down, this blending technique and all this soft look that we're going for is going to be really hard to get. And a lot of paint's going to look like a lot of slop instead of this nice smooth transition of colors. So I picked up a little bit of titanium white now and I'm just going to drag some of that down and lightly brush that in here and there and 
just give this natural glow and these shapes to it. So just taking some of that permanent black and with that just going to go in there and just scratch in some stuff here and there underneath the fish where the shadow is. And it's also going to help redefine and give more dimension to his shapes and also bring contrast to the light areas. Okay, and again more titanium white and just gonna barely put any paint on my brush and no water on my brush again and I'm just barely just scratching in and it's just this dry brushing method and that really helps keep that blending and that soft look alive so just gonna touch this here and there now with some titanium white and as you can see we're just going back and forth we'll add some other tone of grays in then we'll come in there with permanent black and then more white and add more layers like we're doing right here, just putting in more white and then just blending it out real soft so it looks more blended and natural in that transition of light there. And then bring it some more over here. And I don't wanna cover everything up, but these are just direct spots that are hitting and bouncing off them and this just brings out more shine and dimension. Okay, so with that paint still wet and that white still on my brush, I can go up into that black a little bit and actually mix those colors together right on the painting itself instead of on my palette while blending them at the same time. So that's another way that we can push these colors around and blend them together. So just hitting again some more highlights like so. And then we're gonna move on to the tentacles. Okay, so now I'm grabbing my script liner brush that you see here and putting lots and lots of water on it because with the script liner brush, I'm gonna be doing permanent black tentacles. And if you don't have enough water, then what's gonna happen is these are gonna be frayed out looking lines instead of these nice crisp lines that you see going on. And then it's gonna be hard to fix them with that background color because it's super light and trying to cover up this permanent black will be really hard to do and you'll probably have to put a lot of layers down and try to make it look like the rest of the background without some spot in the way. So it can get kind of out of, out of whack that way. So lots of water is a must. And as I bring it down, I'm twirling the brush. And the more pressure that I put on there, the thicker the lines are. So like right here, I went a little bit more pressure to give more dimension there. And so this is gonna help create again, more texture and more dimension as I do some thin ones and some thicker ones here and there. So now like on the one on the right here, I'm gonna go ahead and push down quite a bit. And then as I leave this down here, I'm gonna leave the canvas and just go to a nice point like so. And again, that helps create this clump of tentacles. And so there'll be a little bit thicker paint. So anyway, you wanna put these down, it's all up to you. These tentacles are definitely a free world. So wherever you put them and wherever you think they should live, that's exactly where they should be.
So just wanted to show you, this is what you wanna do is twirl it back and forth like so when you're putting this paint down on a script liner. And that helps to ensure that your lines will stay solid the whole way through and you won't have this broken up line because it runs out of paint fast and you really, with a lot of water, you wanna get all the paint you can in one stroke and keep that thing solid. So twirling it is definitely a must. So as you saw there, I put a little bit more pressure there up the top at the right and then a little less pressure as I bring it down and that helps create a little bit more dimension and shows clumps of his tentacles together like so. Okay, now I'm gonna take my number four fan brush now and I'm gonna make this very light gray color. So a little touch of permanent black within this titanium white. And so with my fan brush, now I'm gonna take the corner of it and bend the bristles against the canvas. Watch, I'll zoom in close and you'll see, I'm just gonna go ahead and just bend as I hit the canvas, turn it over when I run out of paint. And then this way I'm gonna create these little jelly-like actions that are coming down from these tentacles. And so on top of this, I'm gonna take another version of this gray, a little bit darker now, and these will act as some of the shadows. And at some point I'll take some permanent black and create even darker shadows here and there. And then also on top of all of this, just permanent, I'm sorry, just pure titanium white. And that's gonna help this shadow and the texture and the dimension and the direct highlights that are hitting this jelly-like substance. So it appears that he has this little stinger-like thing. And that's gonna be this little guy right here, just a little bit of this darker gray. And just gonna tap that in with my fan brush like so. And now it's just pure titanium white, just here and there, but not everywhere. As my motto goes, you've been following along. And with that, these are just direct highlights now that I want to make here and there. And so just in different places, and I'll play this back and forth. And I'll tell you on this one, you don't really want to play back and forth too many times because this is kind of one of those things where you want to still be able to see through this jelly stuff a little bit. And so if you put too many layers down, it's gonna end up covering all that background up and you won't really see any more of it through there. And it can get kind of messy that way. So I would say probably no more than a couple, maybe three times at the most that you wanna go through with this. So now on the other one, I don't want them as bright. So just with a little bit of this gray color, a um, little bit of titanium white in there. And now I'm gonna redefine some of these tentacles here. So now I'm gonna tap it like that with my finger because that white still is wet. And look, it just settles it right down into that and it makes it look like it's within the fish instead of these tentacles like sitting on top of all this stuff that we just built. So I'm gonna go in here and just redefine some of these and tap them out here and there. Just a little bit of permanent black and a little bit of touch up here for some more definition. And now down here with my script liner brush, lots of water and permanent black, just sign right there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and try this one. This is very easy and I believe you'll have a lot of fun and good results. So don't forget to subscribe for more lessons and I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy painting.